Hello everyone. Uh, let me find that point. Uh, it doesn't work. I mean, oh, it's switch. Oh no. Let me try. Oh, it worked. Uh, today I'm going to talk about reinforcement learning, uh, open problems in reinforcement learning of palm DP models. So first of all, what is a reinforcement learning problem? In reinforcement learning, we uh, try to study the uh, agent and environment in uh, interaction, which means that at each time a step, the environment is at some state, and uh, which is uh, not observable, and at that time a step, the agent cho choose some action and apply that action to the environment, and based on that action and the hidden state of the environment, we, we as, a, as an agent receive some uh, reward, and the environment goes to new state, new hidden state, and provides some signal we call it observation. In model-based reinforcement learning problems, uh, people model th this environment and try to uh, solve the model-based problem. So uh, some popular model people uh, use it is one is uh, multi-arm, Bandit problem, one is Markov decision process, one, and uh, another one is uh, partially observable Markov decision process. Uh, for now, just uh, assume that we have uh, full information about the model. The model, I mean, assume we, uh, we assume one of these, and we have full of uh, information about the model. The remaining task is just do the planning in an efficient way. So uh, the pr reinforcement, reinforcement learning uh, problem for Bandit problem is well studied. You just need to uh, find the arm with respect to highest uh, expected reward and choose that arm, which is very simple. For uh, Markov decision process, again, is well studied. And it's, this model is at each time a step, we choose a, an action. And based on the hidden, uh, based on the state of the environment, we go to new state and we receive some reward. In this problem, we can uh, look at if we if the objective function is discounted reward, it's again well studied, and we can use Bellman equation to solve this problem, uh, which is like uh, dynamic pro programming and is like iterative algorithm. Uh, if the objective is just cumulative uh, re uh, reward or long-term average reward, one can uh, apply Poisson equation, which is again iterative algorithm which are all, of, all of them are well studied. So uh, what about we look at more complicated model, which is partially observable Markov decision process, which is more realistic. At each time a step, the environment is, is in some hidden state, which we do not have access to that. And we, as an as a agent, choose some action. And based on this action on hidden structure of the model, we go to the new uh, hidden state, and we receive some reward and some observation. Why this problem? Ah, this problem is not well studied uh, compared to uh, MDP problem because of the hidden structure of the model. Learning of this problem uh, was hard, and I be, there was no uh, efficient algorithm to do that. But in our previous work, we came up with the efficient learning algorithm for palm DP model uh, with tensor method, and which means that for reinforcement learning of the palm DP models. We have the first part, which is the learning. So now we need to do the planning. So do the, to do the planning of the um, palm DP model, the uh, tra uh, traditional way is just, just going through the belief space, uh, which is like uh, our belief about the hidden state of the environment. There is a Bellman equation to solve this problem, but the problem with this uh, in a method is this method is uh, a spa P -a space complete, which means that if we increase the horizon, we would get this amount of uh, point. We need to apply the iterative algorithm on it, which is uh, not possible. There are some way to relax it, but it's hard again. What about looking at the um, memoryless policy or like limited memory? I mean, uh, the policy is like um, mapping from some observation, some window of observation to the action. So the, there are some way. Uh, I mean, there are some model, palm DP model, which optimal policy is uh, order and uh, policy. But uh, let's focus on the memoryless policy now. So the memory policy, memoryless policy is 
as, as is obvious, is the very uh, a small, I mean, the mapping is a very a small table. And there is no need to solve the PS-based complete problem. So it's easier, and somehow it's optimal as well. So there are some work uh, which solve the, which, uh, which come up with the optimal memory lapse policy in the domain of uh, deterministic policy, but the optimal policy for MDP in the memoryless setting is a stochastic policy. So in solving this uh, uh, problem is a little bit harder. The optimization problem looks like this, and the simplest one I showed here. And here we show that the uh, relation of relation th this factor relates to the policy in linear fashion, but this fact this factor does not uh, relate in the linear fashion. So, uh, so the interesting question is solving this memoryless policy and studying the w in what setting the uh, memoryless policy is optimal policy. Thank you. <laughs>